secrets that I kept from my parents. Uh, yeah. That's a terrifying clip to unload to your folks when you're trying to be vulnerable with them because you don't know whether they're going to understand your flaw and work things out by helping you walk more in your truth with guidance and continue to treat you like a human being that makes mistakes like they do or better treat you like the angel you were supposed to be in their minds and tie you to the edge of a building. No, 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 son of a bitch! My first secret growing up, I cursed behind my parents' back, like, a lot. Like more than the average Joe, even to this day. Y'all know how hard it is to tell these stories and topic videos without cussing a single word? Not that hard anymore, to be honest, because ever since I wrote this video down in my journal four months ago, I've been expanding my vernacular ever since, all the way up to this day of upload. So uh, I've made some progress. <clears throat> Anywho, my mom and dad don't cuss and haven't since they were teenagers, but besides them, I curse more than my grandmas, my aunties, my uncles, cousins, my friends, everybody combined. Well, Devante, why? Well, friend, it's because of my surroundings outside of my home growing up. Everybody outside of my house did it, and I gave in to the pressure. If somebody told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it too? Listen, you mother <sighs> I was a different person back then. Thus me saying, growing up, get off my dick. Yay, being a product of your environment. Woo, so great. The people I worked with did it. The people I hung out with did it. Even the people I did sports with did it. So I did it too. And in a way, I liked it. Every time I cussed, it made me feel better for some reason. And I did it behind my parents' back because that's not the way they raised me. <laughs> They raised me to not do a lot of menace-worthy things, but I still did it anyway. I was a very sneaky child, as you can see. Nigga, I knew my parents would slap the literal black off of me if they found out I was cussing behind their back. So it became like a switch I could turn off and on whenever they were around, but sometimes it slipped out like when I least expected it. Whenever the switch was on, I'd cuss at work. Ah, fuck. I did it at school. Party rockers in the house tonight. Everybody just have a ah, fuck. I did it on the bus. Oh my gosh, Jessica. Chad said he liked me. Ah. No way. Yes way. Hey, shut your bitch. I even did it in the bathrooms. <laughs> Ooh, ah, son of a bitch. Literally everywhere. And when I got home, I turned the switch right off. Bro, I liked cussing so much that over time it became like drugs to me and followed me into my adulthood. If my parents knew all the menace worthy words that have come out of my mouth in my 22 years on this earth, they'd have a stroke. Cause while not bounded by the auras of my elders, I'm not the average cursor, you see. I'm like a serial cursor. When my switch is on, my conversations be 90% cussing and 10% regular words. I have a problem. If you slap some paint on my face and dye my hair green, the streets of Gotham would call me the cursor. No doubt about it. My problem here is not that I curse. It's the fact that I curse too much. For example, when I'm on Discord with my associates, man, shut your bit. No, don't do it. What the fuck? Zip it. I'm you from the future. Obviously. So what you want, future trunks? Here to save a timeline? Listen, don't use the actual curse words like we originally planned to do because the world ain't ready for the amount of vulgar that we spit out. You know this, we get active. Replace the words instead, I beg of you. Hmm, you know what? I knew this day would come. I'll listen and do as you say. Huh? So you're not gonna be like one of those idiots who play dumb as if they're not looking at the spitting image of themselves obviously from the future and act like everything's fine when it's clearly not? Um, no. My nigga. <laughs> Man, shut your bitch ass up, little I like to see you squirming. I have a problem. Whenever I'm recording a video and I mess up the audio, so there I was, Twizzler betwixt my toes, banana in hand, tied up to the bed, her bra in my mouth. I don't know how it got there. I'm conf- <coughs> Fuck. I have a problem. Whenever I'm streaming on Twitch, link in my description, I always gotta catch myself. Man, you stupid mother- <coughs> I mean, you dummy. I have a problem. Back when I used to live with my parents and they tell me to do the dishes, man, fuck these stupid dishes. I'm young Reezy. I do the dishes when I wants to do the dishes. <laughs> you do the dishes, bitch ass nigga. I have a problem. Whenever I'm on the game and I'm talking trash, <coughs> Man, shut your bitch ass up, little boy. That's why you almost lost, pussy. Heck, you talking about almost? But did you win, bitch? <laughs> oh, and during games, I'm a certified trash talker. I have a problem. Whenever I talk to my childhood friends, man, shut your bitch ass, lame ass, stupid.
stupid ass, puss ass, dumb ass up, nigga. Buy a dog, die alone. All right, y'all. See you tomorrow. Love you, niggas. Stay safe. All right, big dog. You too. Disperse. Oh, hey, we playing COD tomorrow? Yeah, Sersky, I have a problem. Before some of y'all have a stroke, understand that they know it's not me cussing them out. That's just how I talk, and they remotely talk the same way. But I'm working on it, because, you know, <laughs> for the past few months I've been expanding my vernacular and I can say so myself as of today because this video was outlined four months ago at the climax of my problem that I'm making leaps and hurdles of progress when it comes to communication these days. When my switch is on, my conversations are only 50% cursing and 50% regular words now. <laughs> Sentence diminishes my ass. I have a problem. In life, people hide things because we're scared of the consequences. That's why I hate it for my folks, even though it slipped out sometimes. I was more scared than a peer pressure teen getting high for the first time. Oh, did I mention the second secret? I got high off of life. Like, a lot. Soon as I got to college four years ago, I was introduced to some, <clears throat> let's just call them edible arrangements and magic pixie sticks. I made a video on it a couple months ago. I gave these two items completely different names in that video. So check it out if you need some context. I ain't really indulging them heavily to like sophomore year. Freshman year was kind of like a prep year, an eye opener at most. Soon as sophomore year hit, I completely threw out the idea of using the magic pixie sticks and just dabbled with the <clears throat> edible arrangements instead 24 7 bruh i used to be in my friends rooms gone i'd be in my classrooms gone i'd be in the cafeteria outer space i'd be in my dorm room venus mars and jupiter them edible arrangements were strong boy let me tell you there was not one spot on campus i didn't go to and was not high off of life literally i even drove on the road while in the shadow realm which is something i completely a hundred percent a thousand percent do not recommend do not do this i repeat do not do not do this even though it may be easy for some people as they say it is not safe at all even for experienced people like me you have been warned. For example, a three minute drive will feel like a 30 minute drive. You'll think you're in lane six when you're actually in lane three, drifting off into lane two. You'll think you're going 70 on the highway, but you're actually going 30. Well, what makes it not safe? I'ma let you use your brain on this one. I'ma keep it a hundred billion with y'all. I don't really dabble with them like that anymore. Like, it's a very low chance of me dabbling again, mainly because I honestly just prefer not to because I like being in control of my own mind. Plus they make me lazy. Like I'll procrastinate on my goals and the grind when I'm supposed to be working. Trust me, it sucks sometimes because I be smacked for like three days just off of one alone. My parents didn't figure out I got high a lot off of life during college until they started watching my videos. Yeah, they're uh, they're learning a lot about my past. All right, so yeah, had to bless y'all ninjas with another video being vulnerable and transparent again, just to show y'all I'm human too. Now, I'm finna go smack down on some seaweed chips and go watch some anime. Oh, and speaking of anime, <laughs> we have a video dedicated to that dropping next week. <laughs> y'all boys be safe. Sensei Dev, logging out.